What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the next installment this week. We're going to actually break down the syllabus itself. So here I'm on Blackboard. You can see the announcement page here. I'm going to scroll over to the left here. You're going to see a little simple syllabus. I'm going to click on that bad boy right there. So I'm going to just sort of speed through this as quick as I can because we're going to go through a lot of other subsequent videos in the future. So... We're at the start here, just basically uh, History 201, uh, U.S. History 21877. So we're going to start from the Precambrian era, you know, millions of years ago to 1877. So a ton of history to fit in here. Uh, kind of breaking down everything for you there. You can kind of see. Um, actually, let me put it to the view finish syllabus. There. That's probably a little easier for you to read. Uh, we'll just scroll down. You can kind of see the regular deets. Of everything, you know, obviously this is an online class, so if you need to get a hold of me, uh, email is the best. Keep in mind that I'm a super busy dude, so uh, I will do my best to get to, to you in, in at least 12 hours, uh, but that's not always the case. Just don't panic. Um, I try to, you know, be as quickly as possible, but um, just, you know, be patient with me as I would do the same for you. So uh, here's the big thing here uh, disclaimer. The views expressed in the reading assignments and video lectures do not necessarily reflect the views of the instructor or the school. History is not monolithic. It is told through countless eyes with countless opinions. So you're going to read things in this class or watch things in this class that you're not going to agree with. And in fact, you're going to have people in this class that you're going to have discussions with that you may not agree with. And that's fine. Uh, we need to challenge ourselves and uh, listen to different viewpoints. And even if you don't agree with them, you know, it's a good time for you to unwrap perhaps why they believe what they do. And then, uh, you know, eventually potentially strengthen your argument that you're trying to make. So, uh, yeah, there's uncomfortable stuff. History is very uncomfortable. And uh, that's going to be part of what we go through. So, uh, you got the uh, required text, American Nation Volume 1. One, there's also a version that's like volume one and two combined. That's so choice if you can get that one. Uh, you got the bookstore has it, but also, you know what? You could probably just hit up Amazon too. Uh, any version of it's probably good. Uh, all the uh, right now and all my modules, we have access to um, the PowerPoints, which will cover pretty much the chapters as well, too. So, uh, you don't have the book yet, don't stress, it's fine. I got a lot of assigned reading outside of that as well, too. So, um, we've got this down here. I can already see i got to make an adjustment here. So, the, uh, the summary of important dates, uh, obviously, uh, that's not correct because it's an eight-week course. So, this is half that. It'll be basically final thesis due. Uh, it'll be essentially week three. Uh, midterm will be week four. Uh, final projects due week seven. And then the final exams due week eight. I will adjust this, so don't panic. Uh, that's the troubles of, you know, when you copy shells of classes, you forget some stuff. So there's a lot to go through. So, uh, and I'll be updating you regularly. So you'll know, obviously you pay attention to Blackboard when things are due. So, uh, the week modules here are all listed right here. You can go through, you can click on these as well. Uh, if you go back to the, to the regular page too, if you want to go to content learning modules, they're all posted here as well too, if you need help finding them. And they'll pull you up uh, to the website. So um, here's module one. It's on my website. Uh, pardon the dust. I'm definitely overhauling a lot of these. And I've been adding a lot of stuff to them as well. So uh, as the years go on, they'll get more in depth. But right now, it's just sort of this basic setup right here. So anyway, um, yeah, week one's here posted. You have the form discussion questions, which are located there. I'll get to that in a second. So that's the list of the class. Uh, as far as the, uh, method of assessment, so participation, like most classes, you got to be here to get, uh, credit. Not so much here. Uh, you're going to have to log in you have to do your homework and that's your participation basically. So, it, you know, I'm not taking role. This is asynchronous. That's not going to work very well. Uh, quizzes, you're going to have quizzes every couple of weeks. Uh, in this class will be probably every other week that you'll have one. Uh, there'll be multiple choice, and it'll be based on the readings uh, up to that point. So, you know, the first couple weeks, it'll be the first three modules, the next three modules, and so on. So, 
Uh, discussion boards, uh, I'll get into another video of that later, but essentially that's going to be kind of the meat of the class where you're going to be doing uh, every week discussion board questions. So I'll get to that in a second. Uh, midterm final exam, they're going to be a uh, short answer. And again, these are things that I'm going to have access to for videos right later this week, so we'll get into it there. As well as the final video project, okay? So uh, that'll be a whole other video for you to look at as well too, so... Uh, that's pretty much it. You can read through all the uh, boilerplate stuff here. And uh, so you have an idea about what this class is all about. I just want to keep this one super short. So, oh, that's my video there. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you next week.